Hey everyone, the 2015 San Diego Comic-Con recently wrapped up, and that means only one thing. That we're super stoked for all the new and exciting stuff coming for us nerds. That's right, mainly movies. Big, dumb, loud action movies. Hi guys, can I join in on the discussion? What the fuck? Who the fuck asked you? Nobody, but I'm, I'm a real nerd. Real nerds don't sit alone in their bedrooms every day reading comic books during their formative high school years. Or like science fiction novels. Or sit around playing video games until they get arthritis. Or have an actual interest in hard science and space exploration. Yeah, real nerds spend just a few hours a month watching big, dumb comic book movies. And then they buy a pre-faded Captain America shirt from Target. He's right. You know he's right. Listen, Pencil Neck, it's cool to say you're a nerd, but it's still not cool to be a nerd. So seriously, bro, stay the fuck out of our focus group approved marketing video. I mean video. So I don't know what you're doing between 2016 and 2029, but I know what we'll be doing. Watching movies! And it's not just the run-of-the-mill prequels and remakes that we're really excited about. No, it's all the standalone expanded universe materials. So many materials! That's right, Jay. You know, Marvel used to have the market cornered with its cinematic universe. But now that DC and Star Wars are getting in the game, it's giving me a huge boner? No, I was going to say it's giving me a reason to live. Actually, both of those are kind of awkward. Shut the fuck up! Nobody asked you, you motherfucker! Well, for the rest of the summer, as far as Marvel is concerned, the only big movie is Ant-Man. No pun intended. But whoa, look out for 2016! Uh, you did know that Ant-Man beat his wife, right? Like, he literally beat her up. In addition to being in Star Wars Episode 7, Oscar Isaac is also starring as Apocalypse in X-Men Apocalypse. So you could forget about Oscar Isaac taking on quality roles in small, thought-provoking indie dramas. Cause now he loves money! We're in the money! We're in the money! Just like us nerds! Right? Homeless man? Hey! Get yourself a shirt and tie, buddy. It'll do wonders for your image. Of being a nerd. Legit nerd from the streets, am I right? Is that what a nerd is? No. True dat! Also out in 2016, Captain America, Civil War, Deadpool, and Doctor Strange movie? Is that like Doctor Strangelove? Is that a remake? And don't forget about the standalone Gambit film starring Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, I loved him in 22 Jump Street. That movie was the bomb dizzle. Plus our marketing team thinks he can capture that highly sought after 12% 18 to 24 female demo. You know, the kind of consumer base that wouldn't normally see a standalone Gambit product. I mean film. But Gambit's a tall, lanky man who speaks with a Cajun accent. Uh, how is... Uh... No one fucking asked you, you fucking cocksucker! Channing Tatum's fucking awesome! Yeah, and try to put some fucking cologne on. You won't smell like a dumpster. They're also slated to make a Black Panther film, The Inhumans, and a third Spider-Man reboot. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the new Spider-Man reboot. I mean, the person they cast, he actually looks like a teenager. Would you shut the fuck up? Oh, wait. You said you're looking forward to it? How much money do you have? Anyway, this is all for the service of not three, not four, not five, but six Avengers Infinity War movies. Oh my god, I could smell the money now. I mean popcorn. I could smell the popcorn now. I do smell popcorn. Oh my god, he has popcorn. Ugh. It's so disgusting the way these nerds eat. I've never had this popped corn myself, but I'm told the masses love it. Another cool thing shown at San Diego Comic-Con was the trailer for Batman vs. Superman, Age of Justice. 
Dawn of Justice. Whatever, who cares? It doesn't matter! Why is Batman wearing the Batmobile? He's not wearing the Batmobile, idiot. That's his new super armor suit. It's super powerful bat armor that he needs to beat up Superman with. But didn't Superman, like, destroy Metropolis barehanded in the last movie? Yeah, but that's why Batman needs super powerful armor so that he can smash up Superman. Duh! I think you're so smart. I thought you read comic books. <sighs> but that was just one design. There were several other designs that didn't get good focus group feedback. Like this. And this. And this. Speaking of Batman, now that Ben is getting divorced from Jen, he's slated to write, direct, produce, and act in five more Batman films. Slated for 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2018. That's right. And that's good news too, because those Christopher Nolan movies suck so, so hard. hard. Plus Ben Affleck is awesome. He was already in an awesome superhero movie called Daredevil. That movie fucking rocked! Why is Ben Affleck getting divorced? Well, Jay, I'm glad you asked. Their love had been Bruce waning for a while. In fact, he lied to her so often she called him a two-face. Rumor is, too, he liked to get kinky in the bedroom. He always wanted to put his Batmobile in her Batcave. She didn't like that. She said it gave her a rash, like poison ivy. So, she served him divorce papers and called him a joker. Uh, let's just get this over with. Uh, Wonder Woman film, uh, The Flash, Suicide Squad movie, uh, uh, Aquaman, Cyborg, and a Green Lantern film slated for 2020. Oh my god, The Green Lantern? I love that movie. What? Shut up! <laughs> I hate you! So, is that it? All these standalone movies, doesn't DC have anything to counter Marvel's Infinity War films? Hey, aren't they doing at least two Justice League movies in 2017 and 2019? What the hell is the Justice League? I don't know, I don't know. Some sort of fucking comic book thing. Now let's get to what a real cinematic universe is gonna look like. That's right, Mike. Ever since Disney bought the rights to Star Wars, they've been making bigger plans than Hitler. That's right. The floodgates have opened with sequels, spin-offs, and standalone films. Enough Star Wars movies to make you want to gouge your fucking eyes out. I mean, gouge your wallet out of money. Can we cut that? Sure. The part where I said gouge your fucking eyes out? Yeah, that was a weird thing to say. Well, I mean, it's, it, it's like four films a year. Oh my I, god. Aren't people gonna get sick of all these spin-offs and standalone films, cinematic universe? Oh, the, oh, the fucking cameras were- In 2016, we'll get Star Wars Rogue One from director Gareth Edwards, the guy who made the most recent Godzilla movie. That's right, Jay, and rumor is there's gonna be an appearance from Darth Vader. I remember him. He was in Star Wars! I'm assuming he's gonna get his own standalone movie at some point. Just shut the fuck up! A standalone Darth Vader film? Why, that's gonna be awesome. Why, let me light my altar to Star Wars and pray to the Star Wars gods for giving us more films. Darth Vader, Anakin. Doesn't he know those movies made like a billion dollars each? That means they're good. Anyway, you know, critics of J.J. Abrams have called him and Star Wars Episode Seven racist for not casting any Asians in the film. Wow, that's just terrible. Do you plan on having any Asian characters join the cast in any of the films? So rumor is Star Wars Episode Eight has cast Hong Kong action star Donnie Yen. Wow, that's just great. It shows just how much Disney cares about diversity in their casting choices, as well as increasing box office sales in the Chinese market. Go Asians! <laughs>
But since audiences can't wait a whole year for the official Star Wars, and studios can't wait a year without making tons of money, they're planning for Star Wars spin-off films at least once a year for the next 17 years. Oh my god, so much Star Wars, I wanna gouge out my fucking eyes! The first film is going to be about the adventures of a young Han Solo. Robert Rodriguez is rumored to direct. Ooh, I love his kids' films. They are just so good. They're also planning in 2018 for a film about the origins of Boba Fett. Yeah, it's called Attack of the Clones. What? Would you shut the fuck up? Nobody liked Attack of the Clones. This is fucking crap. People like Boba Fett because he's awesome and they want to see him flying around in his jetpack and shooting people and doing awesome things. Boba Fett's so cool because he's so awesome and mysterious. Look guys, Boba Fett is cool because he's mysterious. If they make a movie about him, then it kind of ruins all of that. I'm sorry, what? There's a Yoda standalone film in 2021. Lawrence Kasdan is rumored to write. An Admiral Akbar origin story. Lawrence Kasdan rumored to write. A Jabba the Hutt spin-off film. Lawrence Kasdan and Lawrence Kasdan rumored to write. And a movie all about the Ugnaughts from the director of Minions. Kids are gonna love that. I mean, what kids don't love mute midget pigs. But Jay, are they making a R2-D2 origin standalone spin-off film? I would love to know where R2-D2 came from. What's his backstory? Where was he built? I'm sure he was built by a young Yoda when he was living in the spice mines of Kessel, training to be a spice miner. That's a great idea. Yoda built R2-D2. Of course. Yeah, why not? And then, and then Yoda introduced him to Han Solo's fetus. Now that's a little weird. You know what? Screw continuity. People want more Obi-Wan? Let's give them it. Obi-Wan's Adventures After Episode 3, a standalone film. I always thought Obi-Wan lived like a boring, lonely life on Tatooine as like a hermit. You know, I, I always thought it was like his self-imposed sentence for his failure to train Anakin, bringing about the downfall of the Jedi. I'm sorry, what? Are you talking? Is he talking again? But Mike, what about the stars of Star Wars? You know, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford. Will they be back for more Star Wars adventures? Well, rumor is they've hired Colin Trevorrow, the director of Jurassic World, to direct Star Wars Episode Nine. So, I bet they'll be back. Why are you so sure? Well, why else would they hire someone who's so good at directing dinosaurs? 